welcome back to Unicorn Desk Designs. Yeah, girl is back and I cannot wait to do DIYs with y'all. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sammy. We do DIYs, we do wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter to be had. So if you think you'd be into that, then let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, you guys, this one is from Quell Street Designs. And when I was hunting through DIY kits, Excuse me. Um, I saw this and was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need this in my life. And it was so inexpensive for what it is. So if you're like, okay, show me what it is. I'll show you what it is. Calm down. Calm down. Like a puzzle here. So this is one of those, what are barn, barn quilts? DIY wood quilt kit. Create your own framed quilt block. Customize your quilt block with your own choice of colors. The quilt block is cut out like a puzzle. The frame comes attached to the backer board and the block pieces will be nestled inside. All unpainted pieces will be natural wood so they can be painted or stained. You will paint and or stain each piece individually and once dry, glue them into place. <laughs> Whoa. So we're gonna start off by, I mixed um, black chalk paint with water for a stain. Now y'all, in her directions, it said that the puzzle pieces will have masking tape on them and that's how you'll know what the top is versus the bottom. So I'm over here and I'm trying to be like super careful cause I'm like, there's no masking tape on these wood pieces. Like, I don't know what Tracy is talking about. Like there's, there is nothing. So I'm gonna stain the entire um, frame with this black stain that I made. And next you guys, I'm over here and I'm, this is where I'm like, okay, the back stains like wood, but the front, isn't staining anything. Sorry, that's not in frame. So I actually message the owner of this company and I'm like, you know what? Like there's no masking tape. I don't know what the front and the back is. The front isn't even holding the stain. And then I'm like, and before I even read her message, I just keep going with it. So what I did, okay, was as you can see, I'm taking the pieces from the left to the right, the right to the left. That way I could flip them over. And then the side that's gonna show is the side that was staining for me, okay? So I'll, I'll tell you what happens here. So taking that homemade stain, I am gonna go ahead and start staining my pieces. Now that paper that's right above this, she actually gives you like directions using five colors and then hers is showing how she did her sample um, quilt. So it's nice because there's no guesswork involved in, okay, well, where do I put one, what color, what you know pieces are supposed to match each other, all of that stuff, which I feel like would have been super hard for me because I, I, I can't make up my mind for the life of me. So it was really nice having the directions. Now you can use up to five colors. I only ended up using four colors on this. So I continue staining these pieces. Then I'm gonna move on to Moss um, by Waverly. Now this is where you guys, I figure it out, okay? So I'm painting and I'm like, wait, what is this that you guys, it's the masking tape. I felt so silly messaging her. Oh my gosh. She was literally like, Sammy, you are holding the masking tape piece in your hand right now. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. So anyways, I take flagstone by, I think this one is Barathane and I'm going to stain these pieces. I was going for a more kind of like earthy tone, neutral, look with mine so i didn't go crazy with my colors but she does have a lot of samples on her website and etsy so i continue on with my colors now in her sample one she goes a little different with like a light red stain i decided i wanted to do like a like just one color that was a nice pop bold right in the middle catches your eye color so i did ivory for mine, again, 
You guys can go nuts with the colors. I mean, the, it, this is so much fun. This would be so much fun to do with the kids too. Um, so I paint that, then I go back in with the flagstone instead of that fifth color and end up staining that. Now I'm taking wood glue. I'm taking tight bond wood glue. You could use whatever wood glue you want. And I am going to do all the pieces and in her direction, she says, start from the middle, work your way out. And then I put a bunch of books on top of it after I was done. Now, she also suggested not gluing any of the pieces down and making this almost like a puzzle that people can do when they're sitting at like the coffee table or your patio or whatever it may be. And I thought that would be such a good idea. You guys, she, she has a flag one on her website now and I want to get it so bad. Okay. You guys, so that is it. I'm going to use mine as a tray. Isn't that such a cute idea? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this piece. Look at that. I'm just like, where have DIY kids been all my life? But then I'd be out of business, so, <laughs> you know. But this is just like a genius idea. I cannot wait to buy some of these for gift giving. As a recap, so this is her Etsy shop. She did want me to direct you to her website, so I'll have the link for both of them down in the description box, just in case. But you guys, these make amazing gifts. I love doing it myself. I think it would be fun to do with the kids, especially right now during summer. So I highly recommend checking her um, pages out. All right, you guys. So this is Try It Tuesday. I hold this challenge on the last Tuesday of every month. And it's basically where like you would try somebody else's DIY out or if you saw something on Pinterest, you give the person credit, give credit where credit is due. Well, this time I'm mixing it up a little bit and I am trying out uh, DIY kits that are sold on Etsy. And I am wanting to help support these, these creators. So all of the links for their kits are going to be down in the description box. If they did include a coupon code or anything, I will include that as well. Um, and I will let you know my thoughts on it. I'm going to take you through the process of doing them, tell you how much they are and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoy this little twist on Try It Tuesday. I will have a playlist linked down in the description box. If anybody chooses to join me on this challenge, then they will be linked down below in that playlist. And y'all, let's go ahead and get back into these DIYs. All right, you guys, this next one is a wood round craft kit. I'm going to link the Etsy store down in my description box. I'm going to put it right here as well. And I think this is perfect for those of you that don't have a Cricut machine. Um, a lot of you guys can't find wood rounds where you are. This is the perfect thing because it's already ready to go for you. So let's see what we got. Nice packaging. All of these are nice packaging, huh? Okay. So this is the Purple Door Craft Company. And when I saw it on Etsy, I literally was like, this is absolutely perfect. Because I know there are a lot of you that can't do like your own stencils and things like that. I chose to do the red, white, and blue, the patriotic wood round. So here are the items you get with it. So we get um, red, white, and blue chalk paint, satin varnish. Um, it looks like there is some denim, some burlap, whoops, a cutout of welcome, and then odds and ends. So let's see what's in this box. So you, you literally get everything, you guys. So let's see, we have sandpaper, some more ribbon, um, nice. We got three sponge brushes, one, I don't know, this isn't a chippy brush, I don't know, oh goodness, that thing sheds. Ooh, make sure you uh, de-shed that before you use it. And then I believe, yeah, this is stencil vinyl. 
So we'll have to see where those go. And two, she has like her set up on Etsy, but I mean, you could really go free range with like where you want to take this. It doesn't have to look exactly like hers. Um, sorry, I started reading this. Her little card is so cute. And then we got some wood stars to go with it. So it says, so this is, if you can see it, what it's supposed to look like oh that's for the bow all of that is uh let's see okay what's this crafting is my happy place so like a, it's just like a ruler i guess you could say should i like i think i can totally Sorry, you guys. I think I can totally do this without like watching a video or looking. Maybe. I don't know. Because what are these for? I feel like I know what this is for. It is to make the line right here. Or you could use painter's tape as well. But I don't know what these two are for. So to start off, I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to go diagonal with it. You know, i got to be different. I don't want to go straight across. And then I'm going to take this chalk paint that she gave. Now, this chalk paint was super potent. I don't know if she maybe makes it herself, but I, I mean, it wasn't like horrible or anything. It just didn't, I mean, usually chalk paint doesn't smell like anything. But anyways, I do two coats of the red here. Then I remove that tape and you guys look at this crisp line. I, I love it. Okay, then taking that same piece of tape, we're going directly underneath that red line. So just a little tiny smidge of red should be showing. Next, I'm gonna take the blue that came in our kit. I'm gonna, only gonna do one coat of the blue. These colors are gorgeous. That red is like a perfect Christmas red. All right, so now we take off that tape. Next, we're going to take that welcome cutout that she gave us. Again, y'all, this is so nice, especially if you don't have a vinyl cutting machine, because for the price that she's charging, I mean, it's amazing, everything that comes in here. All right, then I take antique wax. This did not come with a kit, but I was like, I feel like I need it to look a little bit more like worn in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if it really made a difference, but I brushed it on the outside corner edges and then I brushed it over the white welcome. All right, so next we're gonna take our welcome and I'm gonna use my tight bond wood glue and then I'm going to use my hot glue. Now the wood glue is for our longevity and then our hot glue is for that immediate hold on the welcome sign. Um, so I'm going to place that. Remember, I'm intending for it to be diagonal. I don't want it straight across. And then I did paint the stars. Sorry, I didn't like film that or anything, but I just painted the stars red and white. I'm going to do placement, put them on with some wood glue. Now we're going to get to the fabric. So I am cutting little notches in the top and then I'm pulling the fabric. This is going to make it look super rustic and frayed. And I'm going to do that with all of them, but I am not going to use the burlap ribbon in this and I'm not using the jean material quite yet. So after I'm done cutting all of those and tearing them, I'm going to show you, we're going to grab all of that fabric. I wrap it around my four fingers, making sure I, I leave some frillies out. I squeeze it together in the middle. You could already see a bow forming here. And you guys, this is supposed to look messy. It's not supposed to be perfect. I take another piece of that fabric. I'm going to tie it tight, double knot it right in the middle. You're gonna see a bow form right away. Here we go. Tie it and you have yourself a messy bow. You don't even have to cut the edges. And look at how cute. So I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue and then some hot glue, attach it to our wood round. I'm also gonna put a little star in the middle for some possess. And now I'm gonna take that jean material. We are gonna cut it into three pieces. Couldn't let this jean go to waste on America wood round, you know? And I am going to hot glue the ends of the three pieces together. I just wanted it to be flat at the end so that when I glue it onto the back of the wood round. 
Then taking some tape, I'm going to tape that down to the table and I am going to go ahead and braid this. After I'm done braiding it, I hot glue it to the back. This is a very light wood round. It's not like the big ones I use. And look where we got. So here's how this turned out. Look at that bow. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Yes. I love this. And I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to cut vinyl. I didn't have to do diddly squat. I love it. Now to recap, this is purple door craft co she has tons of other designs on her etsy page as well like teacher ones black and white like farmhouse ones so she has tons of options and you saw that price right there for everything you get this is absolutely amazing if you want to make wood rounds and can't find them or whatever i know you'll appreciate this right, so our first craft kit is from berg and bath and i love this it is a macrame kit for coasters and for me something like this is amazing because i would never go out and buy all of the things to make this because for me it would be like a one-time thing and i wouldn't make anymore um so i'm excited to try this out i don't know how good i will be at explaining it but on their etsy when you purchase they also give you a video link and she is really really good at explaining how to do this so i'm going to try my best but let's go ahead and go through our uh kit and start making it so as i open this the first thing i see is the cutest little felt bunny i don't know if everybody gets one of these or she just gave it to me because i was having a baby but it was adorable thank you and then you get your uh step-by-step -step pamphlets and you get three colors of the macrame cord and she does have other options as well so there is a video that they will send you and then you have the pamphlets to read as well. So I read the video, I read the video, I watched the video beforehand and I was like, okay, I got a good idea. I'm going to go off the pamphlet and I record with my phone so I really couldn't watch it. But so the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to cut all the pieces you're going to need in advance. So I cut probably half the pieces I needed in advance, to be completely honest, because I didn't know how many, yeah, I, I say I didn't know how many I was gonna need, but you clearly know how many you're gonna need. I was just a hot mess making this coaster, okay? And this is gonna be a hot mess DIY. So I'm basically gonna tell you everything not to do and then give you some opinions on the right things to do, okay? So uh, don't judge me by this DIY here. Um, we're here to support small businesses, okay? So you guys, I start this, The like I said, the instructions were really good. I have to say though, I'm more of a visual learner and I knew if I had the video going in front of me that this would have turned out a lot different, which it did, and I will show you because I did attempt it again. So now I have to take this pink one all apart. Um, so I start it, and at first it's going really well. And you guys, if you're somebody that's wanted to get into macrame, I think this is a really great way because of their instructions are just so clear and step by step that it did make it easy after following the video. All right, so now I'm starting to pull, and as I go through, I'm like, okay, this isn't hard. I could definitely do this. And uh, you'll see, hold on, goodness. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying to explain this to you, but there's no, there's no splaining, okay? There is none, because I just could not figure this out while doing the pamphlet. So, I am going through the motions. I am overlapping. I don't even know what the knots are called, you guys. This is how bad I am. I, I don't remember the knots. It's like I blacked out doing this and I, I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm doing like a something knot where you take it over and then make a four shape and then take the macrame cord under. Don't worry, you guys. I will never do a DIY like this ever again for you. <laughs> But 
I go through the motions and then I realize that I am pulling this way too tight because after I did my second one, I went back and I did it again um, with watching the video and I actually achieved the coaster. And I realized I was pulling too tight and I was pulling it, I, I guess the tension was uneven. So it was tighter in some places, looser in some places, and it just did not work out at all for me. But you'll see what I came up with. All right, so I attempted it once again and I got it, you guys. Look at how cute that is. So I will say uh, some points. I was definitely um, pulling this way too tight. I wasn't keeping the tension the same throughout the coaster, which caused things and watching the video was a lot easier than trying to follow the directions on the pamphlet. So, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but, and the baby is crying. So we need to go, but absolutely love this. You guys recommend it. And I'm going to be redoing the pink one and then making the, um, cream colored one. So make sure to check out her link in the description box as well. Now to recap, this is Berg and Bath. They are actually in Canada. And I know I have a lot of Canadians that watch this channel. So you guys go support them. They have a lot of amazing, beautiful things on their Etsy page. You don't want to miss out. Um, and let them know that I sent you over there. And that is it for this one. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was really meant to just try out some craft kits, support some small businesses. So I hope you guys have a good one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you missed me, I'm back. You guys, no, okay. I'm sitting here right now. I'm like taking my lipstick off the old fashioned way, you know, with like your finger. Did any of you comment down below ever like do put lipstick on and put your kiss marks all over your mirror? I like I had in my closet growing up on the side because it was like the old, you know, wood doors and there would be kiss marks all inside my closet. It would be like me and my girlfriends and stuff like that. And then you'd write your name by it. Ah, oh, memories. Okay, let's get into this one. Do, 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 do. Which one's this one? Try it Tuesday. Uh, I like forgot to say like, like, subscribe. I need to learn how to edit. I need to learn how to add those things that pop up on the screen.